Hey everyone, Bob Wong, licensed acupuncturist. In this video, we're going to talk about acupuncture points on the ear. These are the acupuncture points you have on your ear. So over here, I'm actually building some IKEA furniture, so I'm gonna use a screwdriver as a pointer. So over here, these points here, they all correspond to different parts of the body. So you've got all these things labeled, all the organs and everything, and it looks like a huge mess. But easiest way to uh, learn and kind of get a general idea of what these points are is if you just kind of look over here, just imagine an upside down baby. So by your earlobe, that's the head, and along the side of the ear, that's the spine. So upper back, mid back, lower back, and then these are the different areas of the body. So when you take that, this image here, you transfer back over here, all of a sudden that becomes a lot more clear. So this is the head, this is the spine, and these are all the other organs and things, uh, heart, different areas and things like that. So this is a website from the American Journal of Physical Medicine and Rehab Rehabilitation. They did a pilot study of 2,400 veterans that were serving in Afghanistan. They had chronic pain and they did this acu ear acupuncture protocol for them and they said it worked pretty well. Oftentimes, ear acupuncture points are used for stress, PTSD, substance abuse, uh, quitting smoking as well. So that's something that a lot of acupuncturists like to use as well. So I'm gonna go over a few points that you can do as well with some ear seeds. And this is what we do. This is actually part of my training when I was in China as well. This is something that they used to do, they used to do in the um, acupuncture department in Guangzhou. So these are called ear seeds and they come in a packet. So what happens is you take them out and you tape so they come in little pieces of um, kind of a plaster and you take them out with tweezers and you put them in acupressure points on the ear. So if you noticed in the middle of here, like right in the, the little black black little dot right there, that ball, it actually tapes, uh, sticks against the ear point and it you kind of press it kind of like as an acupressure point. And what that is, is that's actually not just a black bead, it's actually a herb. So herb or whatever part of the world you're listening from they call it herb in australia herb in australia we call it herbs in america that is actually this herb right here uh its chinese name is wampu liuxing so the name in latin or the botanical name is vicaria sagittalis i don't really know what that is but this herb is basically what that little black bead these little black beads are so as you can see got my tweezers over here and this comes in a pack I'll show you I might just link it up a little bit so you, what you do is you take tweezers and it's kind of like an adhesive tape you take it here pull it out oh, it's a little bit sticky and basically you pull it out and what you do is you take that and you place it into the ear point uh, depending on the, on the area that you want to stimulate so I got my wife's ear right here and she's gonna be my ear model today and this one here is a little pointer that usually comes with these little ear seed little um, packets. And this spot right here, let's get turn here. Yeah, this spot right here is called Spirit Gates. And this spot that is really great for anxiety, stress, insomnia as well. So what I'm going to do is a lot of these ear seed packages they come with uh, little pointers and what you do is you just kind of look for the most tender spot is that sore in there no no okay in here yeah, a little bit sore so this little triangle here right in the center of the triangle that's exactly where that point is so once i've found my points i am going to get my little let me zoom out yeah there you go i'm going to get this thing and i'm going to take my ear seed take it out with the tweezers and I'm gonna put it over here, right in the center, as close to the center as I can, where the bead is facing. I'm gonna place it in the center of the ear, that little triangle there. I'm just gonna press right there, right there. So as you can see, it's right over here. And on the other side, I'm just gonna grab another one. On the other one here, same thing. I'm just gonna take it out of the pellet. I'm just gonna go on the back side of the ear. And on the back side, I'm just gonna put it here as well. So usually they, a lot of times, a lot of our patients 
uh, will we'll have them leave with ear seeds, especially people that are suffering from anxiety, things like that. And whenever it seems to ramp up, we'll tell them because there's a little button, imagine a little button. So whenever they feel stressed or they feel anxious, they feel like they need to go to sleep, they can just take this end and this end here. So it's kind of like a pincher. So you pinch both, well, hold on. So you pinch both sides of the ear. Is that mm. sore? Okay. Yeah. Yep. So it's going to feel a little bit uncomfortable, but that's basically how we do ear seeds. So these are available from Amazon. Uh, this one, I forgot how much I got it for, but it comes in the package and it comes with a set of tweezers, comes with this AccuPoint locator, which is pretty cool. And it comes with a packet of 600 little seeds as well. And also comes with a map of all the acupressure points that you have on the ear. So these acupressure points on the ear, they're, again, they're very useful for PTSD, substance abuse. People use it for quitting smoking, things like that as well. So if you want more information, always check in with your local acupuncturist. They will uh, know. But if you're interested in trying out yourself, that's something you can try. Pretty much side effect free. If the worst thing that can happen is it just doesn't work. They're available on Amazon. I'll try to find a link as well. But if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe.